So we're trying out a concept out here of portable hydroelectricity from just nearby streams. Um, it showed a lot of promise in some ways and it's given us a lot of insights for how to uh, remedy a lot of the problems that can come up. So the idea was a portable backpacking hose. Um, so it's pretty lightweight, collapsible, uh, that you can get a controlled stream of water through. Um, we're able to rig it up in certain parts of the creek and get a pretty decent flow rate, almost like a garden hose. Um, then we tried to connect this to it, which is a little water-powered turbine uh, that can generate electricity. If we blow into it, it'll start spinning it enough, but unfortunately the water doesn't get high enough pressure like our breath does. And this thing's just kind of crappy in general. So we've tried modifying it a lot, um, making it better. I think it's meant to work with a lot more high speed, high pressure situations than we're dealing with here. We need something to deal with to salvage the energy from a very large bulk of slower moving, low pressure water. Um, so what we did was we messed around with this a whole lot. Now we're trying to make our own turbine. This is out of a vibration motor from a dildo and we hooked it up to some leads, made our own turbine out of a cutting board and now we're going to try to use it as a little water wheel to see what if any kind of electricity we can generate. Um, in the future we could have our hose that's much more lightweight and less prone to kinking so this hose tends to fall flat often and it's really annoying to get any drip out that's more than just that little bit um, which can barely make this thing spin at all. <laughs> hose fail right there. Um, and so Instead, uh, try to get a lighter weight hose and maybe a much bigger turbine that you could assemble and get some actual voltage out. Uh, so here, we're gonna try to put our water wheel in. I can hold this if you want. There we go. Then we can see how many volts we can get out of it. Oh, yeah, getting some. Hey, right, look at that. So we can get. 30 millivolts. Okay. So we can actually, if you pan over here, give us a quick look at how fast it's going. So we got a little water wheel. It's going pretty decent speed. But if there's a way to gear it down, we could try to get much more voltage out of this rate of flow. So try it over here. It's going even faster. Oh, 37. Almost 40. Let's see if we can beat 50 millivolts. Yeah, right there. That's, that's right there. That's a big one. Oh yeah. 38. 38. Go for it. Come on. Get that big right here. Yeah. 42. 42. 44. Come on, 50. Hold it slightly up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 44. Like it should be half submerged, right? It should be what? Half submerged, like half out of the water, so uh -huh. it stays a little clear. But we're able to get some electricity out of it, so that's cool. Now we just need to, future iterations, figure out how to make a lot more electricity out of it. 41. 48. 47. Oh, come on, we gotta get over 50. <laughs> 44. <laughs> okay, there's the challenge to the people of the world. Beat 50 millivolts with portable hydroelectric power. It shouldn't be that hard to do. Okay. Should we call it? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. It's been good. It's been a good, fun experiment. Oh.